Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm back at y'all again. Now I'm coming to do a brief video pertaining to foods. Because we think foods is just something physical that we eat, right? Not knowing that it carries certain spirits in it. And when I say spirit, I'm not talking about anything spooky. I'm talking about energy. You can't kill energy. They teach you this in thermodynamics. It just change shapes and forms and move on to other physical objects. So when we kill cows chickens and things of that nature. We think that the energy or the spirit that it carried is there. It's not. It's still contained, it's still contained within that physical object. So when they're processing it, right, and they're putting some certain chemicals in it, because chemicals is one of the five forms of energy, which is a higher form of energy. It's alive. It's conscious. So foods don't only contain ingredients, but it contain live conscious spirits or energy. So if the cow and the chicken, the last thing they felt before you put it in your mouth, right, and digested it, if the last thing that they felt was pain and you digest it, right, these spirits of low frequency vibrations is in your body now. So if these spirits go down in your pancreas and start to attack it, now diabetes occur. Why? Because the pancreas is where the natural insulin, right, is produced. When you are eating certain things, right, and we're not going to talk about conversations and people because foods come in many forms. But when you eat certain things, you got to be careful what happened to it before it got to you. If meat was so good for us, why process it? Anything that's good for you, you shouldn't have to process it. A strawberry, blueberries, apples. You pick it straight from the root, you eat it. You don't have to process it. So if meat was so good for us, why do we have to process it? And you are not there, right, in the factories to see what they're processing it with. We look at all these labels and these big names, and you know that most black people, we don't go to school for science. We go to school for things to keep um, their so-called um, economy going. We are the cells to their body. And the cells do whatever the brain tells it to do. Right? Don't let that go over your head. But you got to be careful what you eat. Because even when you are around people, energy is an ingredient and people carry energy in their aura. And if you are around negative people, you are eating genetically modified conversations when they're talking about nothing. So if you're around people who's talking about somebody else, you eat junk food. And this is what you become. Junk food. You'll be no good for nobody. So now you're raising a child, right, who's ingesting, right, the side effects of this energy of you being in the form of food, being junk food, and then you wonder why now it falls onto them. All illnesses and diseases are not genetic. Not even 5% of it is. These people tell you, well, do your mother have high blood pressure or diabetes? Do your mother or father or your grandmother have cancer? Did they have cancer? And you say yes. And what they do is what? They know how to incorporate patterns and tell you, right, that you're subsequent to get the same thing that they had. And you're not thinking that, okay, well, I ate the same thing that my mother had and she ate the same thing that her mother had. And it was passed down to me, so nine times out of ten, I'm going to get the same illnesses and diseases. But we're not thinking. And they tell y'all that when you buy your meat, that it's grass-fed, right? Make you think that that's more healthier. What the hell do you think the cow eat anyway? The cow won't eat meat. It was eating grass anyway. So they got you thinking because you buying a product that's grass-fed, you're not thinking that... Any given day, I ride down past a farm, the cow munching on some grass any damn way. You see how they get you? You see how sheepish we become? And when I say, I say sheep is because a sheep is willing, when you study it, it's willing to be led anywhere. To those in religion, you know this. So, when you're eating these foods and you conjure up diabetes, high blood pressure, 
cancer and all that. That's just the karma. Why don't we stop to say, well, if the foods or the meats that we're eating, which is a proven fact, is the cause of diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, stroke, heart attack, which is mucus build up in the body, right? Then why am I still eating it? When you know better, you're supposed to do better, especially as an adult. You don't pass on poison to your child when you know the right thing to do. They don't know better. A lot of us running around talking about some those un, those people who unvaccinated is the reason why, right? The other ones are dying. To those who are vaccinated, if you vaccinated, you shouldn't be dying anyway. What the hell is the vaccine for? You mean to tell me that you got high blood pressure, diabetes, right? And you willing to go take a vaccine? Because they say there's a virus, a so-called virus going around. But you're not willing to change your lifestyle? To stop eating shit that gives you something that is close to a virus? They play on words. COVID. Virus. Diabetes. What's the difference? They both killing you? And we talk about the drug addict. The person who's smoking drugs. And you got about, you got a pill for every day of the week. That's drugs, right? You got a freezer full of hog mugs and chitlins and bacon and all that shit. That's drugs. You eating it because it tastes good. You can't be eating it because it's healthy. Because I've heard many people say, I know I shouldn't be eating this. It's just like the person who got the oxygen tank, still smoking cigarettes. If you don't give a fuck about your life, why should anybody else? Then you want somebody to feel sorry for you. You put yourself in a victimized jurisdiction state, right? Which now, when you get sick, you want somebody to feel sorry for you. This is a time of separation, people. To those who are conscious, who awake those star seeds, if you're looking at this video, this is the time of separation. Many relationships will part ways. Many family will part ways. Many friendships will part ways. Because there are a lot of people who's hip to the bullshit. And they are no longer to be sheep. They are no longer willing to be sheep for this machine that we call the United States of America. Foods determine how you think. It gives you your perception. Health is not physical. It's spiritual. So if you are unhealthy and you are carrying these spiritual entities of diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, and all that stuff. You can't give anybody any type of advice because you're sick. All these things are mental health issues. Why? Because you eat because you're stressed. 75% of the world eat because they stress, especially America, the number one country in the lead of obesity. Why? Because we are obese with stress that is created by the machine that we're in, and we, and, we, and we put our trust in the same machine that's creating the stress. The same machine that's making you stress, giving you your vaccines. The same machine that's making you stress, right? Giving you your organizations, giving you your diets, and they're getting rich off of your ignorance. All because we don't want to study.